Minerals for the beef herd. Beef cattle, just like people, need minerals to be healthy and productive. Beef cattle get a large portion of the minerals that they need from the forages that they're consuming. But the problem we run into, some forages are deficient in some minerals. So that's the reason that some additional supplementation uh, uh, needs to be provided for the animals in the herd. Uh, we have minerals that we divide into two different groups. We call them macro minerals. And if you look at a feed tag, those are the ones that are given as a percentage. Or the micro minerals are the ones that are given as parts per million. Uh, we do have some problems with minerals here in Tennessee, and we're thinking primarily of deficiencies. Uh, we have some deficiency in magnesium, uh, copper, have some excesses in sulfur, which interferes with the copper utilization, selenium, uh, and phosphorus, and in some cases, even calcium. Uh, let's talk just a little bit about some of these specific minerals and kind of what they're used for and, and which ones we might need to be looking at in terms of supplementation. Sodium and chlorine, and that, that's nothing more than salt. It's used in body fluids, and uh, it's abundant in most of the commercial mineral mixes that, that can be purchased. Calcium, uh, that's the most abundant mineral in the animal's body. Uh, you know, it's used in bones and structures uh, of the body, the teeth, and so forth. And it's usually in uh, relatively large quantities in most of the commercial minerals that we can purchase also. Uh, phosphorus, another very important mineral. It's in a lot of the soft tissues. It's one of those minerals that's very, very important in reproduction. Uh, so we look at minerals, we start looking at mineral cost, those minerals that uh, have a higher cost per 50 pound or 100 pound bag, those are the ones that are going to be having more phosphorus in there. What we need to uh, remember is, if we're looking at the calcium and phosphorus, is that we need uh, no more than two parts of calcium for each part of phosphorus in that uh, mineral mix. Uh, thinking about some of the other minerals, copper is one that's uh, very involved in reproduction and also the immune function. Uh, I think we see a lot of cattle out on the farms across the state and the whole southeast even that have a rough hair code and a lot of that can be attributed to copper. Now some of it may be attributed to the endophyte fungus that we have, but uh, here in Tennessee we've had many producers increase the level of copper in, in their mineral and, and the cattle have slicked off and not had that real rough, dull hair coat. Selenium is another mineral that uh, is very important and you get out west, uh, have too much of it and actually can poison some animals. Here in the southeast we generally have a deficiency. It's uh, very important in the muscle tissue and in addition to the immune function. This may be something that has an effect on the health of our feeder calves when we send them out west. Uh, if we have cows with retained placentas, that may be something that uh, you need to consider uh, increasing the supplementation or getting a mineral supplement that does have the selenium involved in it. Uh, the magnesium is, is another mineral that uh, a lot of people are familiar with. We keep thinking and hearing about grass tetany, which is a condition where the animal just does not have enough magnesium in the body. And what we're looking at with the magnesium, it's involved with enzymes and transmission of uh, nerve impulses, so we end up with that tetany condition if the animal does not have an adequate amount of, of magnesium available. Uh, we have some general recommendations uh, for uh, levels of minerals in uh, beef cattle uh, mineral supplements. Uh, we, if you look at the table that we're going to present here, we'll give you a, a rough outline on what those need to be. Just briefly, calcium somewhere in that 10 to 24 percent range, phosphorus 5 to 12, and you'll notice that we get somewhere in that 2 to 1 ratio that we were discussing earlier. Uh, manganese 2 percent, magnesium 10 to 16 percent, sulfur we don't want more than 1 percent because we, if we have too much sulfur in there we find out that uh, we do cause some deficiencies of copper and, and we need to be looking at copper content in that mineral somewhere in the vicinity of 1750 parts per million unless you're having a problem and then it might need to be increased above that. Also need to have zinc at around 3,000 parts, cobalt 20, iodine at about 50 parts per million. Again, uh, we're not looking at any extremes here. These are just some general recommendations. You may need to work with your feed dealer extension agent to develop a specific mineral program for your operation based on productivity of your animals. If you need some additional information on minerals, uh, please contact your local extension agent.